a reflection video. What are you gonna say one of these? So for about the first three videos, I did not have a computer and I had some equipment issues. So things like my lightning equipment or my tripod. I have Jerry with three different tripods together just to be able to do this talking head. So um, with the th first three videos, we had to do an introduction video. That was very weird. I had to do a camera on a tripod, talking head, it looked very, very similar to this, but it wasn't the same. I had to edit that on my iPad. It took forever and a day to upload and the quality did not turn out the way I was expecting it to be. The telling a story assignment, that was a mess, poor planning. And if I tell you the story, you will be amazed. So the story goes two hours before work. I had to edit this video. I had to finish this video. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna edit it at work. I shoot the video. Very, very bad idea. I didn't like the video. It's a walking, talking robots. Then I go to work. Tell me why I'm dodging managers trying to edit on my phone during the middle of a rush hour and turn this video in with one bar of service. It's a very bad idea, very poor planning all around. So if I had to do over on that one, I would try to execute and plan that one better. The, um, around this time is where I finally was able to start getting my computer and starting to get that set up to be able to work with actually doing a workflow I enjoy. So things like the, the how-to video, that's a great example because that's the video to where I had my workflow going, I already planned, I knew what I wanted to do and so it just clicked in place. Things like that gets fun for me. When you have a workflow and you know what you're doing and you've actually planned and you're ready to do stuff, that's just great. That's when filming fun. So you got your lighting, you got your audio, you got your camera, and then you got what you know you're doing and you can go and do that. So it's bringing me back to my high school days, honestly, with my senior year days of teaching the ABTF class, or helping my teacher teach the ABTF class, and then just doing a bunch of lighting projects along the side. That was actually like one of my favorite projects to do right in this semester. Um, the PSA video, oh God. <laughs> PSA video was a mess. We had a perfect idea. We went through the Google Docs, we put like six to 12 pages of just like great, beautiful perfection. The issue was work. <laughs> Me and Marcus, we, we've worked together in high school, we've worked together in college for a bunch of projects, so with work coming into play, doing cutting letters every day, even on Thanksgiving and trying to work, then the issue like that, our shoot kept getting pushed back and back because we've had to work like doubles or he's working one day and I'm not available to do something. Then so last minute comes around, we're like, uh oh, we need to do this. We slap a video together. It, it turned out okay. It we not the best we could have done. We we did. We are satisfied with the final project though. But with that, um, with that being said, our the things I need to work on going forward is planning and the pre-production stage. Because as as people know, I can't do storyboard. I can't do script. I can't do um, shot sheet. Anything in pre-production is just the hardest thing for me to do. The um. Production stage, I am locked down. That's like my stuff. That's what's fun. In stage, that's um, fun for me too because I finally got this um, computer built and was able to actually have fun doing the stuff or having a computer that can handle what I want to do. So I guess that's it for me. See you, see you class of Mr. Tracy. And hopefully I can talk to you guys and see you guys in the future. Do some more projects and have fun with you guys. Peace.